I'm Agent Louis Salinger. About two years ago, we began receiving intelligence regarding the International Bank of Business and Credit. They have become the bank of choice for money laundering. Everyone is involved. CAA, you are covered with Russian organized crime. They control everything. Clive, it's a good time to uh, release a film about bad bankers. But is it a challenge to think about the, the power and influence of, of dirty money in the world? I think that, yeah, that was obviously the inspiration for the movie. It, it always reminded me of those 70s political thrillers. You know, it's a very well-researched film. It's very well-informed. You know, there are some very crazy things that happen in the movie that we imply that the bank's involved in, but the writer would argue that every single one of them has been taken from something that actually really did happen. Mm -hmm. But ultimately, it's put together in this fictional account and, you know, turned into a big, sweeping international thriller. I guess there's, a, there's also a uh, subtext about, about the challenge of catching these people. That's, that's the role that you're well, it's, to it's, it's, Yeah, it's very much about the, the, their power and influence is so far-reaching and their involvement in everything and in all aspects of our lives, in governments, in, you know, in conflicts around the world. Is, and, you know, it, it opens up the questions that all banks, you know, are involved in all of these things. They're implicitly involved, you know, whenever there's money involved, whenever things are bought and sold, you know, mm -hmm. and that can be weapons, that can be anything, banks in some way are, are going to be connected. Mm, I came away with a depressing sense that other bankers uh, would step into the shoes of those that, that your character... Well, I think what the film does is it doesn't tie things off neatly, you know. It would have mm -hmm. been a very pat ending to suddenly, you know, for him, you know, for my character to get the bank and it all end up nicely. Life's not like that. It's, it's much more complicated than that. Did you think you learned something about the, the motivation of bankers? I, th I think there were certainly, you know, some very strong things said in the movie that, do, you know, that do make you think. One of the things that really resonates is, is the line about how, you know, banks aren't necessarily about, you know, necessarily about making money, they're about controlling debt. And if you control debt, then mm. you're all powerful. And that goes, uh, you know, it goes for huge, you know, huge accounts with governments to individuals. You know, you know that uh, if a guy gets overdrawn at the bank, the, uh, the bank becomes very powerful in their life. Have you been following the twists and turns of the, of the current banking crisis and ticking I, off I'm, the... I'm not that financially savvy but the scary thing is, is the people I know who are the people who do deal in stocks and shares at a serious level and I know a few of them mm. the scary thing is they can't really see a way out they talk about this recession as being one that's unlike anything we've ever seen before and uh, and that there isn't an obvious solution at the moment can you feel it in your industry I think so I think it's yeah. I think a, a recession like this begins to bleed into everything I mean yeah. uh, for sure the studios are tightening their belts the, you know the fear is is that they'll become more conservative, as people tend to do when, when things get tight. Have you had much reaction uh, from bankers, and or what reaction are you expecting? Um, no, I've, I've, I've had no direct reaction yeah. from any banker. I'm sure, um, I'm sure that they'll, they'll have some opinions about it. Now, the centerpiece is that sort of fantastic um, shootout at the Guggenheim Museum, which is, I guess, a, a, apart from being a great scene, was a logistical challenge. We built an exact to scale replica of the Guggenheim, which was pretty incredible. The studio yeah. in Germany, Babelsberg, wasn't big enough to house it, mm. so it was done in some huge hangar, and it, it took a very long time to, f to film, but um, it's a pretty epic shootout in a very iconic location. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks.